Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Frozen Cortex, the artist formerly known as Frozen Endzone. I believe they changed the name because they didn't want it to be abbreviated to Friendzone. Well, well, whatever. Frozen Cortex it is. Kind of robots in the future playing a kind of American football kind of sort of thing. Uh, you'll see soon enough. Uh, first off, I'm setting up a team. We're, uh, we're going into season mode here. And the team name I have opted for is Fraught Iron. See what I did there? Play on words. Um, uh, I'm, of course, Colonel Failure. The stadium name is going to be The Iron Forge. Splendid. Uh, get your season tickets now. Uh, we've got our team colour set up. We like grey, we like orange. Uh, so those are the two variants that we shall be going with. Uh, I'm male, as my... Uh, my deep voice perhaps indicates, and uh, I've uh, I've kind of bodged in my own avatar here. Uh, that's me. Um, we got a logo. We got a stadium decoration. I actually supported this being made. Um, I, I backed it quite early on, uh, so I get a little uh, supporter trophy, which is nice. Uh, we've gone with a, that kind of robot model. We've got a face on our robots. I'm not that bothered about holograms. You can do that if you play it. Let's get into the, the players you're going to come to know and love. Our first player is Tintin Hollywood, uh, world famous wide receiver. Second player is Rod Massive, so named because uh, uh, he's got a massive rod. Uh, player three is Cindy Vapid. Cindy brings a certain feminine quality to the team. Uh, she'll be good, you'll see her in action. Uh, our fourth player is Bingo Hazmat. Bingo, classic. And uh, our fifth player, Boris Vacant, uh, erstwhile quarterback. So we're going to go straight into a game as quickly as possible. Here's our league table. I'll go into more detail on this if this turns into a full season. Uh, I don't need to play the tutorial. I've, I've played maybe an hour of this altogether. We won't visit the robot market right now. We'll check into that into the future. Um, yeah, I've played an hour, maybe two hours in total. I completely suck at it. Uh... So, uh, so don't be too surprised if we uh, if we get horribly unstuck in this game. Okay, uh, so the first thing that happens before each game is your opponent gives you a call. It's Operator 703, which is some kind of AI sentient thing. Uh, you can pause the video to read what it actually says if you like. But frankly, it's a bit of, bit of fluff. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go play the game. So it's it's uh, it's five aside. Uh, let's go play the game. Let's go crash to desktop. Yeah, that hasn't worked, does it? No, it has worked. Right. Okay. So, in no way does the white fat man there look like John Madden uh, with his robot colleagues who will be commentating on today's game. Commentary you will be able to see on the right hand side. Now, the game is made up of, of multiple phases. Uh, and uh, and those phases are... Yes, back up, thank you. I wasn't ready to talk about that yet. Uh, we plan and then we execute. Okay, plan, execute. I am playing in white for uh, for this game. So, our, fire, the, the, our objective, very straightforward. Get the ball, which is currently here, into the end zone. We can pass... But if you run, you can no longer pass. You, have, you can only run from that point on. That's worth seven points getting it into the end zone. If you are holding on to the ball and you pass through one of these blue square things, you get an additional two points. So the yellow guys are going to be aiming for this end zone here. I'm going to be aiming for that one. And actually, I've not seen this configuration before. So in the first phase, what we do is we plan out what uh, what moves we're going to make. These guys have started in possession because the, the ball is closer to them. I would love to be able to rotate the camera angle, you know. That would be lovely. Never mind. Now, if, I'm, if I stand still, uh, then I automatically uh, tackle anyone who comes nearby. So, uh, right. What I want to do with Cindy is I'm going to put Cindy about there. So what we can do is we can play it multiple times to see what happens. So if, for example, I told her instead, go go beat that fella up. Because he's standing still, he's waiting for me to arrive. 
and will liberally kick me in the chops. Not helpful. The only thing we do know is that they will make a play for the ball on this turn. So I'm going to go there, largely to see what this chap does. Uh, if I've called it right, he might get into a receiving position, in which case we want to be able to block that. Equally, we'll put you in a blocking position. So we're going to take a, a somewhat defensive stance to start with. This middle section is far too open for my taste. So we'll move over to there, which does run us the risk of getting kicked in the face by, uh, by this chap, but I suspect he'll move. Now, as part of planning, what I can also do is I can predict what the other team are going to do. So if I was playing, I would probably put him there. To, uh, to put up a defensive uh, screen. Now, here comes the bigger question. If I move up here, right, that's going to get him kicked. But it also means that this guy can't just receive the ball. And it's also cut off his running lane, which will go around here, because... Uh, <clears throat> who is this? This is... Uh, who, am I, who are we talking to here? Oh, come on. That's Cindy. Okay, right. So, yeah, Cindy's Cindy sat down here. Should be able to block him if he decides to run around the edge here. Because, uh, basically, the play will continue until it's resolved. So I'm going to move you up into a blocking position. I'm going to try and... I mean, this is a, a bad call on my part. We're going to try and go around the corner. And that's... Yep, that'll do it. When, we, when your move is all set in, you hit Prime. And then we see how it plays out. So it's going to go until there's an action on the ball. Yeah, it got kicked in the face there. And the action on the ball is Controller 40 here has got hold of the ball. Now, interestingly, this guy has not moved in the way that I'd anticipated. So I'm going to move Cindy across into a pure blocking position. Which should happen very quickly. These two guys have both been blocked off. That fella's going to continue to be interfered with by Bingo, which is good. Now, if this guy makes a run, he can get all the way around here and potentially all the way to the end zone. Bingo's going to stay put. Boris is going to uh, well, delete his subsequent move, possibly, because there is a passing lane. So we can, you know, we can test out different moves. If this guy moves to, you know, here, for example, right? If we were to try that out, clean take. Now, what we can't do is. Uh, or what this guy can't do is he can't go down to there because uh, give me that chat back you can't pass over these higher blocks you can pass over the low ones no sweat you can't pass over the higher ones so that's as far as he can go so I would say that if anything they would probably try that right that's one option all right, the other is that this guy comes in for the reception. This guy comes in to block. So the whole game is all about trying to forecast what your opponent is going to do. So something like that. Which is going to leave Bingo high and dry. So, if I move down here, might be enough to just interfere with the play. If I ease Bingo off just a touch, this le that leaves this guy open. Which is not ideal. I want to stay here to, uh, to cut off any potential run. So we'll go as far as there, which means that that guy can't run through, the, the ball carrier can't run through. Now, Tintin is not going to make it to this guy before he does whatever he's going to do. Meanwhile, he's got block on that entire area. 
but not if I move as far as there. It's potentially a bad idea. He might decide to run straight up the middle here, in which case we only have to hope that what we've got is going to suffice. Yeah, you see, there's, there's all kinds of potential problems going on there. So we'll just ease, ease him back a touch. Actually, what I should have done is cancel his former orders first. At which point we can grab the interception. Okay, right. Well, let's see how System that goes. Pride. I suspect they might go for a run here, which will be bad news for us. Here it is. There's the run. However, ran smack dab into my fella. All right, let's have a look and see how that actually played out. Go back into the second move. Oh, no, you don't. Now, that means I immediately take possession of the ball. So this is a golden opportunity for me. Let's get this sucker airborne. Okay, right. Well, that looks promising. He could... Let's uh, see what happens if we uh, move that way. Interception. Okay. <sighs> Equally, we can't run. Because this guy will, uh, will be moving into a blocking position. So this chap's definitely going to go for the interception. Which means if I stay put, so if I cancel Tintin's uh, order here, that's not Tintin. No, yeah, it is Tintin. Right, if I cancel Tintin's order, what actually happens is that ball now goes sailing overhead. Both these guys are effectively chinned. And if the ball, if the ball touches the ground, that's not an incomplete pass. That's just, uh, you know, that's a ball out of... Uh, out of control at the moment, which means that on the subsequent move, Tintin can go flying up there and grab it. Now, I still want to maintain uh, an active defense to some degree. This guy's a bit of a loose cannon. Uh, if he comes you over here, no, you like that, this you, no, rewind. You go over. Oh well, he'll do what he does. Let's just do it. Here we go. There's the pass. As expected, Tintin slapped that guy hard in the face. Which means that he's got a step on, uh, on the other guy there. So we're going to go and try and keep up with the ball. This guy's making a move to try and catch up. Basically, it's going to be a foot race now between Tintin and the uh, opposing players, so no need for any further orders. He's broken off. He's got the ball. And now all it remains to do is uh, let's run with it. And uh, let's run in the direction of away. There we go. Right. Check this guy if he uh, if he were to uh, make a move like that. Nothing doing. Okay, let's go. Tintin Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, touchdown, fraught iron. That's what we like to see. So there are a finite number of turns in this game. Uh, we're currently up seven to two. Obviously, their ball carrier managed to. Uh, Let's watch the entire possession, shall we? No? Oh, okay. Alright. Play. No, you don't. Nor you. Excellent. So that's uh, that's some good action there, right? First score. 
ball resets, we now take possession. So it's exactly the same thing, but the positions are reversed. Now, we saw how that last one played out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly the same as them. I'm gonna put a, put a blocking move in there. Uh, Tintin, hero of the hour, is gonna go straight for the ball. That's easy enough to accomplish. But what we wanna think about is where are we gonna score? Now, the easiest route possible would be to throw down here over this guy touchdown now he's only a problem if he doesn't move I'm gonna chance it if he doesn't move I get kicked in the head if he does move uh, he'll be out of position when the ball comes I can then stay there kick him in the head and potentially land a, a quick score so we're gonna we're gonna risk that if he doesn't move it doesn't work if he does move, well, let's, let's just rewind, I'll show you. If he does move, say he decides to uh, come and block here, for example. I know, he, he'll, uh, he'll do something to cover Boris, but... Like that, we are wide open, at which point all he has to do is stand there, because he'll have uh, blocking capabilities on that fella. That's the hope. But we can't rule out uh, other other necessary kind of moves that we might need to make. So I want to get Cindy into a receiving position. Rewind, Cindy, receiving position, thank you. And while I'm about it, I want to get Bingo into a blocking position there. I think Link will probably move up, um, but We'll find out. Right, that's everybody assigned. System Let's rock. Prime. Chin Yu, son. What do you think about that? Oh, and that's left it really wide open. He's going to have to now get back in order to stop Boris making this catch. At which point, Cindy can move in here to block any support coming in. And Bingo can do the same there. Meanwhile, we've got a throw here. And we're going to throw to there for reasons that I'm hoping will become clear. Okay, right, so that's a clean throw. Now, I could go directly to the end zone, which might be what this guy expects me to do. The reason that I'm not going to do that is because he'll more likely go for the interception. If he goes there, what does that do? Bad things. Damn. That's less than ideal. Okay, so what if we were to go all the way over there? Let's see how that plays out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's never going to happen. Right, he's going to go straight for the interception. So, uh, so that's not going to work as a as a manoeuvre. What a shame. So, as mentioned before, what I can't do is. Uh, is I can't run, then pass. I have to either run or pass. If Rod's going to stay here and block, that's fine. Uh, he can handle both those two as long as he's stationary. This is the guy I need to deal with, and there's nothing I can do to stop him at the moment. Let's have a look at other passing channels, shall we? Let's try that on. Now, obviously, it helps if I actually stay there. Okay, and this is where, you know, you start to get slightly better strategy coming in. Now, the question is going to be, what's he going to do to stop me? Uh, let's put you on a, a drop back to see if you can get the interception or not. 
nuts. Okay. So you can cut off both my passing lanes. Unless... Um, All right, I think we're going to chance something a little bit more risky than that. You're going to like this. If it works, it's going to be awesome. Now, if I call this wrong, this is not going to be helpful. So if I call it like that... Nope, can't get there in time. <sighs> okay, so now what? Tricky. Both these passing lanes are killed. I do have the man over. So this is what I'm thinking here. Although... Uh, let's delete back some of these so that we go the right way. Let's just get completely greedy, shall we? That's six points right there if we manage to pull it off. We're going to take you up to here. We'll leave Bingo on his, on his uh, assignment. See, equally, he might decide that that's exactly what I'm going to do and and, uh, and prevent it. It's a it's a real dilemma. We'll go for the end. We'll we'll let's give this a try. There we go. We're, we're going to try for the end zone. It's a, it's a circuitous route, but let's give it a spin. Tricky one. Oh, I have to... Uh, he's moving backwards at some point. Oh, he moves backwards to start with. Oh, that's a nightmare. Okay, well, that's just not going to work then, is it? We have to throw a pass in. Right. Uh, let's delete all of his instructions. He doesn't have to throw a pass in, but a pass is the smartest move. So, the other alternative is how far can you get? You are the last man. Can you get to there before he gets to here? Nope. Chinned. Okay, since I can't run back, he's not going to do that. There is no sense in him doing that because I can't run backwards. So, let's delete what I've said he's going to do and see if he can go for something up the middle here. We've already decided that anything like this is an interception, I believe. We'll go as close to the wall as we can. If we make it a shorter pass, maybe that'll work. Let's back it up. Let's leave you on blocking assignment. And this is where the, you know, this is where you have to think about the game, is, uh, uh, you see how he's backed off to try and make the grab as well. Picked it off. There is no, there is no scenario I see there where that is not an interception. 
Okay. So let's uh, let's delete your existing order, my friend, and let's go down to here. Get some forward momentum going. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, let's uh, let's change the past destination. Oh, now this is an interesting idea. What if I purposefully throw the pass away? Okay, so we can be here ready to kick this guy's head in if he actually picks it off. <laughs> yeah, okay, we can smack him in the chops if... Uh, if he catches it. This is going to, uh, this will either work or it'll be a complete disaster. If he makes the catch, we're all good. If he, if he does something else, I don't know what to tell you. All right, we're gonna try it. I've spent enough time figuring out what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens. He's gone for the interception as expected. Hurt that man. You step into the end zone. If we get away with this, uh, this is going to be uh, a moment of sheer glory. Yeah, let's go for it. As long as he doesn't get off a quick pass. Oh, come on. All right, we have the ball back, but it's not... Uh, it is far from glorious. I think he gets tackled before he gets this pass off, you know. I might be going to bother with anything else, because either this pass comes off or it doesn't. Picked back off again. Except he's not going to do that, though, is he? He's going to do this. Yep. Nothing doing. Okay, right. Darn. Okay, well, this is this is likely to be a score for them. Let's uh, let's go as far as there. It's going to get him tackled. In fact, let's pull back and go for a bit of defending. Uh, who else have we got able to defend? Let's get you all the way up there. And you too. They might not get there in time, but... System Let's see what happens. There's the pass. Now he's thrown it long. Really long. Because he's left it nice and open for this chap to just pick it up without anybody... Uh, getting there first and in fact there is not a lot I can do to stop this I think he's got it yep okay System right well prime. this is a touchdown for them not a problem we'll get them next time okay so my mistake there was in uh, Go on, Tintin, see if you can lamp him. I don't think you can, but, you know, give it a spin System anyway. Uh, yeah, my mistake was in thinking that I could tackle their ball carrier the second he got it. And that was not Goal. the right move. You lost the match. So there we go. Uh, that's the end of the match there. We, we got to our turn limit. We only lost by two points, which, you know, could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, what's coming up next? So we'll play our next season match. We'll look through the transfer market. Maybe we'll take a punt on ourselves next time around. Uh, let's do a quick uh, full replay of the game. So here we go. Chap gets the ball. 
clocks the two points there that ended up winning in the game and I got the ball back in your face, yellow robot boy. Meanwhile, we chuck the ball downfield and this is exactly the same move that they then did to us. Throw the ball into space. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, now, I mean, this game includes a YouTube upload function if you ever wanted to play it yourself. But frankly, I find that, you know, talking about the uh, strategy employed, yeah, he just got there too late. He so nearly had that. Now, the question is, had Tintin kept running in a, on that last play, the, the penultimate play, would he have got to that guy before he made it all the way to the end zone? Tricky. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Buy your Frotian season tickets today. I'll catch you next time. I've been Colonel Failure. Please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. If you want to see more of it, I'll record more of it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.